often you're going to want to use Excel to solve problems that are real world problems like calculating what your payments would be on your dream car. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your own car that you would like to buy, go out, look on the internet, build it virtually and figure out what your purchase price, etc. are. So for me, that car would be a Mini Cooper. Pick a different car for your own. So I'm going to go with the price as built of $27,800. And you may want to go ahead and make that look nice by formatting it with dollars. We'll say I'm putting $2,000 down. So we're going to calculate here equals the purchase price minus the down payment. And again, to make it look pretty, I'll go ahead and drop in the dollar sign. So this is the amount that I would want to finance. And we're just going to ballpark a finance right here. We'll say I've got a 5% finance rate. Right? And for my loan term, um, standard loan term right now is probably 72 months. You can do it for 72 or 60, figure out um, how, what a loan term you would be looking for. And then you have to figure out the monthly payment. So how would you do that? And this one should not be dollars. That's just general. That's 72 months. Okay, so we're going to use the more functions and find the payment calculator, PMT, payment. And it will walk you through each different thing that you need to find. So rate is the interest rate. So 6% divided by 4 for quarterly payments. So if my yearly interest rate is 5%, we're going to select that, and then we're going to divide it by 12 because I'm going to be making monthly payments. The total amount of payments for this loan, we're going to have that here. Oops, I hit enter and I shouldn't have. So I just bring it back up. Present value, that would be the amount financed. So we're going to click on that. Future value, that's when I'm done, it should be zero. And this is either payment at the beginning, one payment at the end, zero or omitted, so we can omit that and hit OK. And this will let us evaluate how much I would have to pay monthly if I wanted to buy the Mini Cooper. So if I wanted to lower my payment, I could play with possibly increasing my down payment and see what that does to my payment. If I could get a better, or let's say if I want to put zero down, what does that do to my payment? See what how interest rate affects my payment. If it's 4%, 10%. Two percent. So let's say we get an awesome deal and get zero percent financing. And so you can play with the different values. Let's say I get a discount on the car and it's twenty five six hundred. That changes my payment. So you, I want you to create a payment calculator using the payment formula to estimate the cost of a car loan, and then plug in a car that you might like to buy.